Now this segment is actually a result of a fruit that was given to me at the Payne County Fair by Mrs. Judith Ford. Now a friend of hers had given them the tree a long time ago and called it a date. And if you look at the fruit, you can see that it looks very much like a date. Also, when you open it up, you can see it's got a pit in the middle and also the consistency and the smell of the fruit is very date-like. However, dates grow on palm trees, which is not what she described to me, and palm trees are not hardy in Oklahoma. So the question was, what was this fruit? Well, I vaguely remembered learning a fruit back in plant materials class called a jujuba. And so I went and did a little bit more research, and lo and behold, that is what she has in her yard. Now, other names for jujuba trees are false date or Chinese date, and you can see by the fruit why it has that name. Now, we actually have several of these trees growing on campus in Stillwater, and I wanted to show you what they look like because they're a really good tree for Oklahoma. They're hardy to zone six, and they like hot, dry conditions, and they're tolerant of our winds and our weather here. The only thing that they don't like is to be planted in a place with wet, constantly wet soil. Now you can see as you look at the tree, it has a pretty leaf on it. They're actually shiny on the top, and then they're gray on the bottom. And while this looks like a compound leaf, it's actually a simple leaf. These are each single leaflets, and this is the stem. Now as we go back here, you can see what the stem turns into. It gets woody and turns gray, and on the younger growth, we'll find thorns on this too. You can see one right here that are very prickly. Now this is often a defense mechanism of trees that grow in desert conditions and the jujuba is actually native to Syria. Now as we're looking at the bark, you can see it has a nice gray color and it actually gets darker as the tree gets older. And back here, you can see a very beautiful, dark, almost black to gray bark and it somewhat exfoliates. So this is a nice feature of the jujuba tree. Now, they actually grow to 25 to 30 feet tall. Some have re been reported as tall as 50, but usually around 25 to 30 feet. And they're very slow growers. They also kind of have the habit of being a multi-stemmed shrub. So if you want it trained as a tree, you want to do some pruning at the beginning so that you've got this nice tree. Well, because it is such a slow grower, the, the actual wood of this tree is very hard, so it's resistant to wind damage and ice damage, which is a good thing for Oklahoma. Also, it does like those hot, dry conditions. And finally, it has these great fruits. Now, this is one that's a little bit larger, and the fruit size on the jujuba vary. This fruit is actually a little bit smaller, and it comes off in the fall. You can see here, at it's green. We also have some that are just about ready. You can see they turn kind of an orangey red color and they're really quite pretty. Now this brings us to the drawback of the tree. You don't want to plant it over an area that has maybe a sidewalk or over your patio because they can make quite a mess. And you can see over here along the sidewalk that we have a big mess with fruit. So plant it out in an area where you're not going to be walking a lot. But you could harvest the fruit because you can use them the same as you would dates. You could use them in preserves or maybe in pastries like that. And also they can be dried. Now the one, one final thing is Mrs. Ford had told me that they had had the tree planted there for over eight years and it had never fruited until this year. Well, guess what? Jujuba trees like hot, dry conditions to fruit, so there's probably a bumper crop of these in Oklahoma this year. You might think about planting a jujuba tree in your yard, not only for the fruit, but also because it's a good tree for these drought years that we can have.